Welcome back everyone to today's video lesson, solving some internal equation using Kramer's rule. And the rule was postulated by Gabriel Kramer, a Swiss mathematician. So let's see how we're going to apply that rule to solve these questions that we have on the board. 3x minus 2y equal to 12, and x plus 3y equal to minus 7 are the two equations. But don't be in a hurry, before we continue, subscribe and turn on notifications. So you get updated whenever I upload with content like this. Let's go. To solve these two equations, first of all, let's write them in the form of a matrix. The equation of x here are 3 and 1. So write 3 and 1. The equation of y here are minus 2 and 3. Minus 2 and 3. Then multiply it by this column is for x and this column is for what? y. And this is equal to 12 and minus 7. So we have succeeded in writing these equations, these equations in the form of a matrix. Now let's continue. We say first, let D be equal to this matrix. 3, 1, minus 2, 3. Then we we'll look at the determinant of the matrix. That's by D is equal to 3 times 3, that's 9, minus 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. So I have a 9 plus 2, and that is equal to 11. So the determinant of this matrix, D, is 11. Now, let DX, that's this subscript X, be equal to the matrix. Now, this is the column for X, true. To get um, the x, we will substitute this uh, element here, 12, 7, minus 7, in the place of this column for x. So I have 12, minus 7, then the y will still remain, as minus 2, 3. So we'll look for the terminal of the x. That's 12 plus 3, 36, minus Minus 7 times minus 2 is plus 14. And 36 minus 14 will give me 22. Okay. Then, we we'll say, let dy be equal to this. 3, 1. In place of these two elements, I'll write this. 12, comma, minus 7. This, the terminal of y will not be this. 3 times minus 7 is minus 21. Minus 1 times 12 is 12. So, minus 21 minus 12 is minus 33. Now, having done all of this, we are still looking for x and we are still looking for what? y. How do we get them? We say x will be equal to determinant of the x over determinant of d. That's this. The terminal of the x is what? 22. And the terminal of d is what? 11. So 22 divided by 11 will give me what? 2. That's the value for x as far as this equation is concerned. For y, we say y is equal to the terminal of dy all over the determinant of d. That's this. The terminal of dy is minus 33. And the terminal of d is what? 11. And minus 33 divided by 11 is minus 3. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 minus 3. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. Don't forget to tell your friends about this channel. I'll see you some other time in my next video. Subscribe.